players targeting Caitlin Clark, the rising tension in women's basketball. Caitlin Clark gets poked in the eye by Dejanai Carrington. Dejanai knew exactly what she did but didn't even stop check on Caitlin. Moreover, a foul wasn't even called. The anti-whiteism in the WNBA shamelessly continues. Caitlin Clark's story isn't just about basketball anymore. It's a fierce, gripping drama of grit, attention, and relentless scrutiny, the likes of which few athletes in the game today have ever faced. From her breathtaking rise as the Iowa Hawkeyes star guard to her unstoppable presence on the court, Caitlin has become a lightning rod for both admiration and criticism. But lately, the attacks she faces have grown sharper, more personal, as if her soaring success has become too much for some to bear. Last night's clash between the Indiana Fever and the Connecticut Sun was more than just a game. It was the perfect storm of tension, where Caitlin's resilience was tested like never before. I, the hit, if it affected you, how it affected you, and uh, if, through the rest of the game, thanks. Yeah, obviously got me pretty good in the eye. Um, I don't think it affected me, honestly. I felt like I got good shots, they just didn't go down. And Obviously, a tough time for that to happen. Um, like I got some really good looks. I felt I had, I had two pretty three pretty wide open threes in the first half that like you usually make. So um, that's tough. But I felt like I battled and, and tried my best. Um, took care of the ball better than I usually do, um, which is a positive. But overall, like uh, coach in the locker room, like we were down down three in the first quarter, down five second quarter, and then. Lost by three. Caitlin's clash with the Indiana Fever was supposed to be just another chapter in her growing legacy, a showcase of her undeniable talent. Instead, it quickly turned into a battle, both literally and figuratively. The moment that stood out, the one that had fans and analysts buzzing, was when Dejoni Carrington delivered a hit to Caitlin's eye. It was a shocking, visceral moment that underscored a larger narrative. Are players really trying to take Caitlin out? As the replay of the hit circulated across social media, the discussion exploded. It wasn't just about the physicality of the game, it was about what Caitlyn has come to represent. Is her growing popularity becoming a target for other players? The incident with Carrington seemed like more than just an accidental hit. Carrington has a reputation for being aggressive, but this felt intentional. Caitlyn, who is no stranger to being in the spotlight, appeared shaken, her game slightly thrown off after the hit. For someone as mentally tough as her, that says a lot. You're taking a shot, following the pass to Boston. And Caitlin Clark in pain after she caught that fingertip in the eye or right around it from Carrington with no whistle. Now, there's nothing Indiana can challenge here because no call on the floor was made. Clearly, not on purpose from Carrington, but also enough contact that it certainly could have been a personal foul. As you see the poke in the eye, and one of the areas that Indiana has improved so much since their first game of the season here in this building line is when that blitz comes to Caitlin Clark, how she is able to deliver the basketball to Aaliyah Boston. Now, what makes this all the more intriguing is that this isn't an isolated event. Just a few months ago, Angel Reese of LSU, in a game that went viral for its intensity, cheered on her teammate after knocking Caitlin to the floor. Reese's reaction was not one of concern, but of celebration. She reveled in Caitlin's fall. This raised eyebrows at the time, but now, with more incidents piling up, it begs the question, are players across the league purposefully gunning for Caitlin? Angel Reese's actions were not just physical, but symbolic. It was as if she was celebrating the fact that Caitlin, the golden girl of basketball, had been knocked down both literally and figuratively. Caitlin, to her credit, didn't dwell on the moment, but the symbolism was impossible to ignore. It was a statement Caitlin Clark, for all her talent and accolades, was not untouchable. In the media, Caitlin's every move is scrutinized. ESPN analysts like Molly Karam and Cheryl Swoops have weighed in, often in ways that don't exactly flatter the young star. Molly, known for her sharp critiques, has questioned whether Caitlin's spotlight is deserved suggesting that her fame may be more about her marketability than her skill set. Cheryl Swoops, 
a legend in her own right, has been more pointed in her analysis, implying that Caitlyn's dominance is not as impressive when stacked against some of the game's greatest players. Both analysts have, in their own ways, fueled a narrative that Caitlyn's success is overhyped, a narrative that many of her detractors have eagerly latched onto. <laughs> The critiques aren't just about her on-court performance. Caitlyn has faced a barrage of hate for everything from her style of play to her demeanor. She's been called cocky, with some saying she shows up her opponents with her flashy style and unrelenting confidence. But those close to Caitlyn argue that it's not cockiness, it's competitiveness. The kind of competitiveness that has driven her to become one of the most talked about athletes in women's basketball today. And maybe that's the problem. Caitlyn's rise has been meteoric and with it comes a level of attention that some players may find threatening. Women's basketball has long been a sport in search of its next big star, and Caitlyn seems to have filled that void. But with that attention comes a target. Players who have worked just as hard, but haven't received the same level of recognition, may be taking matters into their own hands. Could it be that some of her peers are trying to bring her down, quite literally, because of the spotlight she's been cast in? Last night's game seemed to reveal some cracks in Caitlyn's armor. After the hit from Carrington, her performance dipped slightly. Highlights from the game showed her missing shots she would normally make with ease, her confidence shaken, at least temporarily. For someone who has built her brand on being unflappable, it was jarring to see her affected by what could easily be viewed as a targeted attack. The hit wasn't just a physical blow, it seemed to throw off her entire rhythm. For the first time in a long time, Caitlin Clark looked vulnerable. The official is pointing to, this, to his head here, and I think they're going to look at this. To review it, the foul, I believe, to Angel Reese. Yep, across the head, and they will go to the monitor to review this one. Yeah, that's the that's right. Is being reviewed for a upgrade to a I think it'll be upgraded here. But vulnerability in a player like Caitlyn can be dangerous for her opponents. While last night may not have been her best showing, it's moments like these that often push great athletes to dig deeper. Caitlyn's resolve has never been in question, and if history has taught us anything, it's that she will likely come back stronger from this. Her fans certainly believe so, as does her team. They rallied around her after the hit, showing the kind of support that has become a hallmark of her career. The bigger question is how long this can continue. How many more hits, both literal and figurative, can Caitlyn take before it begins to wear on her? The constant scrutiny, the media hate, the on-court targeting, it all adds up. Caitlin Clark is undoubtedly one of the toughest players in the game, but even the toughest players can only take so much. At what point does the attention and the hate become too much? Caitlin has already proven that she can handle pressure. From the moment she stepped onto the national stage, she has been in the spotlight, carrying the weight of expectations that come with being one of the best. But the narrative around her seems to be shifting. What was once admiration for her skill is now becoming resentment from those who feel overshadowed. The hits, both physical and verbal, are piling up, and it's clear that Caitlyn is becoming a target. Is this the price of success? For Caitlyn, it appears so. Players like Dejanai Carrington and Angel Reese seem to relish the chance to knock her down, both literally and figuratively. And with analysts like Molly Karam and Cheryl Swoops fueling the fire, the narrative that Caitlyn is overhyped continues to grow. It's a dangerous combination, one that could have long-term implications for Caitlyn's career. I mean, I think there's definitely a line. Um, I thought it was frustrating. I thought I got fouled a couple times there in the second half on mid-range jump shots. And I mean, it, it happens. Sometimes they get called, sometimes they don't. It is what it is. I think I settled a little bit too much for mid-range jump shots. But um, like I said, I felt I got bumped a little bit and I was honestly trying to shot fake them to get them to foul me. Um, but I mean, I think I could have done a little bit better job controlling my own emotions, but I think it just started bad for us and then continued to snowball, and that's something we have to control a little bit better. Um, 
not only like did we not execute on the offensive end in the third quarter, but I thought they destroyed us offensively. Um, our defense wasn't very good. So uh, I think just improving in that area and just all kind of gathering our emotions a little bit better and finding better shots. Um, I thought we kind of stopped playing in a way that made us successful in the first half. So um, just a good learning opportunity for us. Um, I still, I feel like we could have played a lot better. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, th I think there's a line and sometimes your your passion and your emotion can, can get to you, but that's never any something I would, ever, I would ever change or anybody on our team would change, so. But if there's one thing we know about Caitlin Clark, it's that she doesn't back down. She's been knocked down before, and she's always gotten back up. Last night's hit from Carrington may have momentarily affected her game, but it's unlikely to keep her down for long. In fact, it may just fuel her to be even better. Because for Caitlin, every hit is just another reason to prove her doubters wrong. As the season continues, all eyes will be on Caitlin Clark, not just to see if she can maintain her dominance on the court, but to see how she handles the growing pressure off of it. Players may be trying to destroy her, but if Caitlin has shown us anything, it's that she won't go down without a fight.